Hi everybody, Alex Pro here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Profit Retriever, one of our most successful EAs and we're going to look at 12 strategies and also a tool that I'm going to be providing you with that you can create your own strategies to better understand how this Profit Retriever works. And as you can see here, the results in our competition have been really, really good. And each one is using a very specific strategy that can be shown on this tool that I have just created. And you can start creating your own strategies using this tool. And here's the marketing page of the Profit Retriever. As it says, make profits no matter which way the price moves. And you'll see how that happens. It happens when there's a retracement in the market and a correction in the market. And it then retrieves all the profits from the losses that it's made up until that point. It obviously makes profits on successful trades immediately and that's actually where most of the income comes from from successful trades it's only when there's a slight deviation from the successful strategies that the profit retriever kicks in now this is a bit of a training video for owners of the profit retriever so what i'm showing you here are the main settings for the profit retriever and they revolve around position sizing lot sizing in other words and Basically, what it, how it works is it says, what is the initial size you want to start trading with? And in this case, we've got 0.01 as the initial size. It then says, do you want to change? How soon do you want to change that? And we say, oh, after the first one is fine. And we're going to use a rate of change. And then it says, by how much do you want to change it? Now, this is a percentage of the original, but this effectively is 20% change. So we want to decrease it by 20%. So that 0.01 is going to become 0.08 and then lower and lower and lower. So we're going to be decreasing the lot sizing for negative transactions. So as we as the as, as you have one negative transaction and you open another negative transaction that will have a decrease of 20%. But then it says okay, do that until the lot sizing reaches 0.03 so there is a target where it will either stop or do whatever you tell it to do but in this case we're telling it to say once you reach that level then start increasing the lot so this is actually saying increase the lots by 50 percent once you've reached that level and then keep on increasing the lots by that much until you reach 0.02 so there's a strategy already right there. And then what it says, it says simply close all of those trades when they $30 positive. So it's, that's, in essence, that is a strategy for the profit retriever to recover negative strategies. And it's doing it pretty well, as you can see from the results that we're achieving in our trading competition and elsewhere in the other portfolios that are shown about the profit retriever. So let's have a look at this tool. But before we do that, let me show you where you can find the tool. Very important. It is on our paid premium advantage forum and people battle to find things. And we have a, a menu up there that actually should help you find anything on the forum. And there is the profit retriever. So I'm just going to click on the profit retriever and there it takes you to the profit retriever forum. And there, the second item, download the Profit Retriever uh, Strategy Creator Excel tool here. So you just go in there. And I just did it a while ago. So uh, this is a new entry. You click on that. And there we are. And then there's an explanation of how to use it and the items, that, the information you get can get from it and where to do the inputs and all that type of thing and uh, where to download it from. And there is the actual download. And uh, there are two options you can download. You click on that one or click on that one. So that's how you find the tool. Now let's go and have a look at the tool in a little bit more detail. And here we are on Excel, and there is the actual tool, and how I've designed it, and, and this is my own tool, so I haven't really been trying to, it's not a professional design tool or anything like it. it's my own one that I personally use, uh, but essentially it starts out with you having to uh, specify a gap size. Then uh, uh, the gap size is how the profit retriever works as it's moving from 
price level to price level it will open new transactions every 20 pips so it says uh, the first thing is asking so you can enter anything you want there 10 pips 8 pips 20 pips i like 20 pips as a starting point then it says how much what is your pip value of the instrument that you're using and in this case the normal day-to-day Currency is normally $10 for a main lot. $10 is the pip value for a main lot. $10. So you enter $10 and the, the, the model will then work out uh, what your pip values are and your values for, for the actual model. So then the strategy basically says, okay, let's start with the strategy. What, are, what is your starting lot size the same as the input that i showed you earlier there's the uh, lot sizing that you want to do initially and it's the same as i show showed you earlier 0.01 then it says to me you where, how much do you want to, do you want to increase or decrease the stra your your lot sizing over the next 10 levels so in this particular strategy uh, we're decreasing the first five levels and then we increasing the next five levels as i've shown you previously in the inputs that is possible you decrease for five and you increase for five so so you actually enter those values into the model and then it will go away and calculate the position sizing as a result of what you've entered and there is there's the calculation so you can see it's gone down 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 and then it started going up 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 and uh, and and then it also calculates the drawdown so it says okay um if all 10 of these have gone negative in other words the price has gone right through those 10 levels and also the, you still got open trades 10 open trades that are negative your drawdown is going to be 736 dollars so that's an important bit but it shows you how the drawdown accumulates over that period and then it says okay what if the price starts retracing and it says and it shows you what the retracement values will be as it's making profits because it will make profits on those last few transactions those will start going into profit and those losses will become smaller and it will keep on recovering and recovering and then when it when those negatives become positive that means it's recovered all the losses and it is now in a positive position and at that point you look to your right and you see Whoa, it's ta I need a, a price recovery or a retracement of 50% for this strategy that I've entered in here to work. So that's how the model works. All of the rest, you can't do any inputs into that. Those are fixed. Uh, those calculations are all fixed. All your, your only inputs are the ones I've shown you, the lot sizing, the strategy percentages, the gap sizing, and the... Uh, pip values so that's all that you have to put in the the strategy uh, to, uh, the, the strategy creator will uh, do the rest and you can play around with these percentages as you wish now i have done that and i've created 12 uh, strategies that you can go and try and back test and try out now the first one is the full martingale uh, strategy where this is the traditional martingale strategy which says if you're making a loss then increase your position by 100 percent and just keep on doing that and i'm just going to do that 100 percent 100 percent and what then happens is that you 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 basically doubling every every level so it's double 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 and you actually reach really fantastically uh, high lot sizing and you can see the drawdown is just ginormous compared to the uh, drawdown we looked at the at the previous and you can see those figures are in there but the, uh, the advantage of the martingale principle is that if at any point it makes a 10 percent retracement 10 percent retracement it will go positive so that's the uh, what martingale traders uh, use but i must please tell you that don't ever 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 use the martingale principle you can see the drawdowns are just too high the risk is way too high and you can get into serious serious trouble 
with this uh, the Martin Gale process. So I'm putting it up there, but I'm not suggesting it. Please don't use it. It is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. So, okay, so what I have done is I've inc included uh, 12 other possible strategies that you can consider. And uh, you can see the strategy. The, the one is decreasing by... 10% 10 for the uh, whole 10 levels. So you just decrease, decrease, decreases, and it shows you what the drawdown is, what where you will recover. Now, that's the bad part of these decreasing ones. The recovery requires a 70% retracement. Uh, in this case, this de decreasing one requires an 80% re retracement. So it is very, very um Difficult to get those kind of retracements, but uh, uh, they do work, and uh, but the and they keep the maximum lots down. You can see 102, and here you still at the 0.1 lots that that, that that we started with. So uh, and and here we have the opposite. So instead of decreasing by 10%, you increase by 10% and increase by 20% for all 10 of the levels, and then it shows you what the drawdowns would be, what the recovery areas are, and you see here 40%. Is more or less what you want. You know, that's a more realistic recovery uh, zone. And the full recovery is if you don't stop after you've recovered your gains, if I go back into this one, if you don't stop there uh, and you let it ride right to the full recovery, uh, it tells you, and you can see there's the number, it tells you what kind of number you're looking at. But the, uh, the, but the maximum lots is most probably the area that you want to be uh, looking at and the maximum drawdown is what you want to be looking at. And then all of the rest are all mixed. Some are some decrease in the beginning, others increase in the beginning, others stay the same for a while and then increase, and the others decrease and increase at much a, 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 a various rates. But you can actually go and input these values those values into the model and you'll see where these where these answers have come from i've already done that because i've done it for myself i wanted to know which ones are the strategies that really uh, look pretty good i mean for instance this one this one down here looks really good and i think i'm going to trade this one um i test this one rather uh, quite a lot a very low drawdown very low recovery rate only 40 percent um, and a very low maximum maximum lot level. So that strategy I have now discovered by accident by doing this. The, uh, here's another one that's quite good, very low drawdown, but it's got a 60% re recovery percentage, which is, um, you know, it needs the, 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 the price to go back 60% to recover. Uh, but but the maximum lots stay quite low. So that's how you discover really good strategies. You play around with these percentages and how ma how many of them you want to increase and decrease, and that's how you find really good strategies. So the next step is really for you to just go and download the model and go and play with it. And once you have, then forward test your strategies or back test your strategies to see how robust they are. If you're not the proud owner of the Profit Retriever, a link to the Profit Retriever marketing page will be in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.